Welcome to another lesson on Easy Worship 2009 brought to you by worshipmediapro.com. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about editing your schedule. So before we import the schedule that we saved from our last training session, I'm going to go to Live and Options, click on the Songs tab, and I'm going to make some global settings to my songs. So the first thing I can do is I can change whether I want my alignment to be left, right, or center. We're going to keep it at center. I think that's great. I can also change if I want it to be at the top. If predominantly my background seem to be always at the top, I can make that change there or I can set it to center. Now the default is center, so both of them are center by default. We're going to leave that the same. And the desired font height percentage is, is basically easy worship, worship sets the maximum size of the font by using the desired font height percentage. The desired font height percentage allows you to set the maximum size of the text for your songs and scriptures. The desired font height percentage is set for a percentage of the screen instead of a font point size. This setting can be changed under options where we're at right now. And this ensures that your text will not get too big on the screen. So I think it's a great idea to keep it at 14. That's the percentage of your screen. So if I bump it up, notice my text is getting larger. So we're going to keep it at 14. I can also set my font type. I can change that globally here. We're going to keep that the same. I can also globally change my outline. If predominantly my backgrounds are rather busy, I can say I want this to be a heavier border around my font. I'm going to say cancel and just leave it how it is. Now I can also set my chorus and show verses and chorus labels so I can actually show that and then set those parameters, those, those locations. I recommend not to have that on there because it becomes too busy and uh, you know just by default it's good to have that one off. You can play around with it and see if you like having the, the labels show up. But, uh, but I recommend turning that off for right now. You can also color code the different labels. So I think this is great if you, if you feel that the coloring uh, that exists right now is something of, uh, that's a bit confusing for you or your worship team and you want to make it a little bit more simple, like maybe have it uh, like, a, um, like a temperature gauge. So you can start out green and then go to or blue for cold and then go to red knowing that that's beginning to end. You know, something like that. It all depends on uh, what works best for you. I'm going to leave that default as well. Now this is nice automatically wrapping the words if needed. This is because we want to maintain this desired font uh, percentage. And you can also automatically capitalize um, first character of these words. So I think that this is great. Uh, you know, maybe you can be removed and maybe um, uh, your could be removed. But the rest of them, I think, are perfect for being first capitalization. So it's up to you if you want to do that. You can also capitalize uh, the each line, the first letter of each line, or capitalize all of them. So we'll just disable that and leave it how it is as default. All right, so we covered global settings. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull in our uh, schedule that we saved from last time. And I'm going to go to Open and unpacked. And you're going to see this dialogue here. I discussed this in lesson number two. So you can go back one lesson and take a look at what I did there. Now you can see that I already made some changes to this one. So I'm going to leave this one alone. We're going to work on this one. We're going to do some editing here. And I have two ways to edit. I can edit the song in the schedule or I can edit the song in the database. So if I edit it in the database, it will always be that, uh, that change that I made. We want to edit just in the schedule for right now. So even if I if I edited it here and then later on down the road I opened up Easy Worship and I created a new schedule and I dragged King of Glory onto the schedule, it'll be those edited changes will, will be uh, maintained. So we're just going to edit in the schedule right now. All right, so now you see uh, the different uh, choruses and verses that are that are listed here, and uh, looks like everything looks to be fine. Probably. Yeah, I probably could stick with what we have. Now I could do a control alt, control A to select all, and I could maybe bump, bump down the font. I'm not too sure. Probably just leave it how it is. Leave it at 10. 
And then what I could also do is go into my background designer and possibly change my positioning for this particular song. So I'm not changing it for all of my songs, I'm just changing it for this particular one. So let's say I felt that you can have this in the middle, well we can make that change here and have it in the middle. And notice this, this annotation says that I'm making the change uh, in this, a change has been made in this particular song here. So you can kind of keep track of changes you've made from the default settings. So we're just gonna put it at the top again, leave it how it is, I think that looks fine. We can also change, we can remove outline, add it. Uh, you know, you can just do some different modifications to this particular song in the schedule only. So we're gonna, we're gonna hit save. And now, I didn't make any, say, any changes on this, so there wasn't an annotation like this one. This one has a couple of changes that I made and it gave me an annotation of an A to say, I have made some changes on this particular song in the schedule. All right, so, so you noticed how we were able to, per song, change where the position of the text is, but you can also do this globally for your background. So let's say you use this particular background often, and you want to have a certain position that the, the lyrics will, will uh, be shown in all the time. So I'm gonna go to my backgrounds palette, and I, I don't have this particular background imported, so we're gonna use this one as our example. In my first lesson, I talk about importing backgrounds into this palette, so check out lesson number one for that. Okay, so now I've, I've selected this one, and I actually meant to go into options, so I've highlighted it, and now I'm in options, and you notice I've highlighted this particular background. I'm gonna click on override global options. I'm gonna go into designer, and now I'm gonna say, you know what, I think for this one, it's best to put it in the center, because it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it like that, so it'll always show in the center. I'm gonna leave everything else the same, because it looks like having a border is a good idea. It looks like just having, a, just having an outline is a good idea, and not a shadow. So I'm gonna keep it like that. All right, I'm gonna say okay. Now what you've noticed is there's an annotation here, so that means that this has been modified and now it will be this way for all of the songs that I'm using this particular background for. So hopefully that was clear. And, uh, and then that's it. So we, we've learned how to resize our text, we've learned uh, the desired uh, font height percentage and how to modify a background globally, how to modify a song individually. One last thing to talk about is aspect ratio. So there's different ones and I'm gonna explain each one of them individually. Automatic maintains the original aspect ratio of an image, video, or feed by default, but automatically stretches it to fit the screen when used as a background for text. Maintain means it maintains the original aspect ratio of the video, of your image, or your feed, regardless of the use. And then stretches uh, or stretch, it stretches the video or image um, to fit the screen regardless of use. And then zoom is zooms in on the video or image or feed, cropping the edges. So we're gonna leave it at stretch. That's a good one to leave that out there. And there you have it. We've edited our song in the schedule. We've done a global configuration change of the background and looked at global settings of the font. I hope that this was helpful. God bless.